What has he done when he's been healthy that, that's impressed you guys? Uh, he's definitely a really talented guy. Uh, he's very long. He can shoot the ball and he's really smart too. So I think he gives that a lot of, he's really, is it versatile for the world? Uh, he's really versatile and he gives us a lot of uh, weapons on offense. As far as Freddie goes, I mean, obviously there's some, get him up to defense, but you went up against him a lot last year on the scout team. What's Freddie's so good at that people should be excited about? That was impressive. Sorry, what was the question? Freddie, you went up against him with him on the scout team last year. What does he do so well that, that's going to make him a force this year? Uh, he's really talented as well. Uh, with the ball, he's very shifty. Uh, he can create a lot of offense. Uh, and I think we're going to need him at that position. Uh, Defensive-wise, uh, he's still getting better. And uh, I think it's going to be uh, – we're really going to need him this year. How do you draw that out of him? I and mean, how do you draw the best out of Freddie? I think mainly coaches doing it. Uh, all the coaches and then leadership from the guys that we've been here around for a minute now. Uh, we can help them and try and let them know what is expected of them and what do we need out of them to win. So, uh, and then get a lot of credit to Fre Freddie too. He's doing a great job by listening and trying to understand what he needs to get better at. How much has Tobey improved this off season? Uh, Tobe has improved a lot too. Uh, he offensively, he's another person. Uh, he can score on the post. Rebounding, uh, he's just a rebounding machine. Where uh, sorry, this is a mess. Uh, there you go. Rebounding, he's just a rebounding machine, and offensively, he can score. So. Uh, we're going to need that out of him, and he's bringing it every single day. Chris Walker was telling me this week how even kill uh, Tobe is and how the players kind of have to draw stuff out of him. Just uh, how different is he on the court than he is off the court? Oh, he's a different person. Uh, off the court, he's very chill. He's a great guy. And then on the court, he's still a great guy, but he's just so tough and so strong that you would not expect out of him to be that nice of a guy. You guys obviously picked first in the league, really deep, deep conference this season. What, what, if anything, did that mean to you? And, and how do you kind of take that forward and take it? Okay. Sorry. Uh, we really appreciate the respect out of everyone. Uh, we feel very lucky to be where we are. Uh, we, of course, know that it doesn't matter where you start. Uh, it matters where you finish. So uh, we're just going to stay focused. We know it's a really tough league. There's a lot of good teams and good players. So like I said, we really appreciate that respect. But uh, we know we got to put a lot of work into it. And it's going to matter at the end of the year. How beneficial is it to have six, seven upperclassmen, and especially a handful of guys like yourself, Sakai, um, Josiah, that have been with the program for a while. Uh, how beneficial is that to, to kind of start off things? I mean, it's been great. Uh, we got a lot of experience. Uh, a lot of guys have been playing together for years now. Uh, we understand each other. We know each other's game. And the good thing is, too, the new guys that we have, uh, they're all willing to listen and willing to learn. So uh, that's just great. Uh, when you combine leadership and people are willing to listen and learn, uh, that's the best scenario that you have when we have it. And then we also got a lot of talented players. So I think it's going to be a very fun year. I don't know if you paid much attention to how Kentucky has kind of built their roster for the season, but it's it's eight freshmen, a lot of like McDonald's All-Americans, um, not many upperclassmen at all. What, what do you think kind of the challenges could be there, for, especially in this league? I mean, they have great coaching. They've been having uh, – I know they're going to figure it out. They're always a tough team to play against. Uh, like you said, if they have that many freshmen, maybe leadership is something that they're going to struggle with. But, uh, I mean, I got nothing but respect for them. Uh, they're always hard to play against. Uh, we really enjoy playing against each other. And uh, we always know that they, we're going to get their best shot. Do you, do you guys get maybe a little extra up for those two games, the ones that are up in the Thompson Bowling, knowing that kind of the, especially the fan bases and just the stakes, it seems like every season are high? I mean, yeah, I think every team has 
that team that you always love to play against, that uh, kind of the rivalry is going on. And uh, we get up for every game and we enjoy playing every single game. But I think those games too are uh, really enjoyable. And I think both teams, us and Kentucky, love to play against each other. And it's just a really fun environment. Hey, Santi, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good to see you, Santi. Uh, Santi, what should be the expectation for the identity of this team? What would you hope for this year? Uh, I just think we're going to have a team that uh, have a, has a lot of leadership and a lot of talented players. And and when hard times hit, uh, that we're going to stick together uh, and then we're all going to push forward and figure ways out of it. Mm -hmm. what, what type of style do you think for this year's team? Uh, 